for wine alcoholization, I, I also give a, a, a first glance on the most used techniques to the alcoholized wine. And we can divide these techniques in two main categories, the distillation based techniques and the membrane based techniques. In the distillation based techniques and the most used, used is the spinning cone column. You can see here, they, they are the huge machine, so uh, very huge, very, um, normally there are dedicated uh, um, uh, places where wine is alcoholized by this technique. And uh, um, in this case, distillation is uh, um, carried out under vacuum in order to separate the ethanol at low temperature, so temperature that uh, do not damage other wine components such as aromas. Uh, in particular, the distillation is conducted in two phases. In the first phase, um, at about 28, uh, 30 de uh, degrees, um, the aromatic fraction is distilled and separated. Uh, then in a second phase at the higher temperature of about 38 uh, uh, degrees Celsius, the ethanol fraction is distilled. And finally, the dealkolized wine is uh, recombined with the aromatic fraction in order to recover the first uh, fraction of aromas that uh, were lost uh, during the process. Normally, these are the most used techniques to obtain uh, wines uh, without ethanol or with very, very low alcoholic content. On the other side, we have the membrane-based techniques are the, uh, the most modern techniques, uh, the most recent techniques in, uh, um, in, in winemaking. And in this case, the ethanol is separated through a semi-permeable porous membrane and the different techniques have different levels of selectivity towards ethanol. And uh, the force that uh, drives the process may be the, an applied pressure, such as in reverse osmosis and nanofiltration, or the difference in concentration respect to a stripping flow, such as in membrane contactor, that we will see more in detail in the following part of, the, uh, of my presentation. These techniques uh, gained uh, a great uh, development on, by making the last um, 15 years, let me say, because they are smart use, they are very um, portable, so uh, they are very um, uh, comfortable to manage, in, also in the small wineries. These techniques of wine alcoholization may be applied for two main aims. And in 